Anyone who is suggesting uh, that prosecution decisions or decisions that the Crown Office takes in terms of upholding court orders is in any way politically influenced uh, or politically driven is not just wrong um, and not just completely lacking in a single shred of evidence to back that claim up. But I would also suggest that they are signing up to a dangerous and quite deluded conspiracy theory. Ruth Davison. People can see your deflection for what it is, First Minister. Just answer the questions. Because this sorry affair isn't just tarnishing the First Minister's own reputation, it is damaging the institutions that it is her responsibility to uphold. Majority votes by members of this chamber to produce legal advice ignored. Crucial evidence freely available elsewhere censored. Promises of openness and transparency broken. The Chief Executive of Scotland's ruling party caught calling for the police to be pressured. The reputation of the Scottish Government tainted. The standing of this Parliament diminished. A culture of secret and cover-up that is only growing and it is all taking place on Nicola Sturgeon's watch. And there's just one further question I want to ask. First Minister, is saving your own skin worth all the damage that you're doing? First Minister. No, the, the most important thing to me is the reputation of our country, uh, the integrity of our institutions, and I will always, I will always act in a way uh, that protects uh, exactly that. But you know, there is a reputation here that I, I think is uh, perhaps disintegrating before our eyes, and it's, uh, it's not mine, may, may I say, but Ruth Davison has just gone through there. Uh, a litany of nonsense. She accuses me of deflection. What, what deflection? She asked me in her previous question about meetings on the 2nd of April and the 29th of March 2018. She accused me of a cover-up. I simply stood here and said it's a strange cover-up when I offered the information in published written evidence to the committee. Uh, Ruth Davison wants to uh, lecture the rest of us about democratic integrity. But that's the same Ruth Davidson who's about to depart this elected institution dodge an election, take a seat in the unelected House of Lords where she will pursue a political career at the taxpayers' expense but never have to ask voters for their permission ever again. I don't think Ruth Davidson is in the position to lecture anyone about democracy. There is something rotten at the core of the SNP and it is poisoning our democratic institutions. This isn't just about Alex Salmon. This isn't even just about the internal problems in the SNP. This is about the treatment of women in the future. So what is the First Minister going to do to make that right? First Minister. What is poisoning our democratic institutions, uh, in my view, are politicians standing up and hurling assertions and accusations without a shred of evidence to back them up. And I, I think that's something all of us need to seriously reflect on.